Okay. Well, that was a failure. Um, <laughs> so uh, we just uh, failed to follow the walk. Well, we did follow the walkthrough for a while, but I completely failed and made the video so you can actually see what was going on. So let's uh, let's try this again with picture this time. <laughs> Okay, so we went up here. Had little Sebastian climb up here. Oh, psh. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's just reload the page. Eh, this is such a shit show, I tell ya. Uh, we were allowed. I sent an ask, I think it worked. Uh, good grief. Uh. <laughs> so anyway, how are you all doing today? I'm doing okay. Cat seems to have settled down. It's not climbing all over me anymore. All the failure. All of it. <laughs> so much failure. <sighs> Indeed. Ah, well, what you gonna do? It's half the fun of it, really, right? <laughs> That's the land of Crips and Helion. Again, yay. Alright, we're gonna speed run through this. So, okay, so having consulted the walkthrough, I know that what I must do. When I consulted part of the walkthrough, pick up Little Shep. Yes, Little Shep nabbed. Go here. Pick up the skull. Yay. That raises this obelisk. Oh yeah, people were saying earlier that this was the uh, might have been the first time that somebody compared Breath of the Wild to Homestuck, and like the thing I have observed is that it's four lanterns suspended from the tower. They are very bright, but the green one is burnt out. It does not appear to be a be a way to light it. So like it's actually pretty easy to rework Breath of the Wild into uh, like the Homestuck format. Because, like, Link is... Link can be the, uh... The, uh... Knight of Breath. He's even wearing, like, the light blue, which is kind of the breath color. Um... Uh, Hyrule is then the land. Although we never did settle on a good, uh, land to call it. The land of X and Y, I don't know. Okay, and then we send up a little stab. Yes. Little, why do I call him little stab? Little stab, not stab. Rotate twice. And now Roxy's light is pointing at Roxy's obelisk. Oop, there. Call a little step at step back down. Okay. Run up that skull. Yay. And now, according to the walkthrough, now what do we do? Go over here and do stuff. Okay. Whoop. That's not right. That's not right. Mm -hmm. Looks like the mirror at the top is designed to light, but... 
pink light is illuminating an object at the bottom, and it's way too far down for you to jump. If only you had a nimble little helper to help down to go to send down there to investigate. Deploy little Seb. Yes. Down he goes. Up that comes. And it's a shack. Eh, a mausoleum. Mausoleum that kind of looks like it's made out of corrugated tin. Can jackpot! Crocodile skull? Yes. Elsewhere. Hey. The pedestal is now empty. Want to put something else there? Uh, not yet. Let's pull this lever. Creepy. Ew. Scarabs. Ugh. Oh yeah, we can put some else here. Um, so we're probably going to need the book later. Um, it's probably too heavy for our purposes anyway, so let's put the cake down. Nope, nope that was wrong. Take the cake. Yeah, take the cake. Look at Jane taking the cake. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Land of deaths and broken weapons for the uh, land of um. Uh, yeah, somebody just suggested for the uh, land of Hyrule in Breath of the Wild, call it the land of deaths and broken weapons. Yeah, that's alright. So the cake is the right answer? Okay, then. Keep, keep clicking on the wrong thing. All right. Man, this ain't a solution to anything, leaving this here. Also, it's such a great book. Why waste a room full of dumb beetles? Take wise guy, yes. All right. Oh, I see. And then they, they eat the cake, and then you now the thing is back down. That is kind of clever. Then we gotta play with the lights some more. How do you know the walkthrough isn't lying about the cake? Good question. The cake could very well be a lie. Man, how old even is Portal 1 anymore? That, that came out like... And Portal 1 came out almost 10 years ago, didn't it? In fact, maybe exactly 10 years ago now that... I mean, Jesus. Time flies. Yeah, that was like... That was either 2007 or 2008 when Portal 1 came out. The cake is a lie. Flip the switch. Yeah. And that lights up this balloon. Interesting. This is all very adventure gamey. The sea pot has been released, leaving behind an empty husk. Will it reach Skya? I suppose you will never know. Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll crop up eventually. It would be a nice little brick joke for it to come back at some point. Whoops. The salamander skull doesn't fit in any of these slots. Want to try to climb in? The salamander skull doesn't fit. So we need to go hunting for another skull. Alright, let's use the walkthrough again because why not? Oh, there was a skull down there. I didn't even see it. Guana skull.
Ah, and a boom buck. Do a little dance. Proceed to the next page. And now we're allowed to go on to the next page. Alright. So I think for real now, we're going to uh, put a stop to the video. Um, and we'll... And, uh, not sure how we're going to upload all this to this whole mess to YouTube, but it'll get up there eventually. Trust me, it was this was too this was this was too funny not to put up on YouTube. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll meet you with Jane. Proceed. Uh, see you in a minute.